that's one, and I've got to get this right, the Art Directors Guild for uh, the Tribute to the Crafts, the American Cin Cinematic Tribute to the Crafts. Yes. I just won that Art Director's Guild on, on Saturday. Yeah, so. both. You won both. Yeah, I'm, yes, still, yes. I'm still drunk from that event. Yes. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> no. Oh, that's great. And congratulations for that. Thank that's you. That's huge. That's huge for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, it, the, the Art Director's Guild is, is my peers voting for our work, and that's really important to me, uh, you know, because it is about craftsmanship. And the movie is so much about the craft. Uh, you know, everything we did was hand-built, hand-carved, hand-painted. Carpentry it was intricate in, wow. in, in some of the sets, was so complicated, you know. So um, I really, I'm indebted to my crew, not just my set design crew, but also the crew of painters and carpenters and sculptors and prop builders. Oh, and thank you so for on. acknowledging all yeah, of them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, of just the design department, we are about 13 people all in, including concepts, set design, our graphic designers, uh, which is not a huge department. I, I've worked with much bigger. And then uh, carpenters and pa with carpenters and painters and all the rest, you know, it, it depends, you know, on the day. Sometimes there would be 40 people, sometimes less, sometimes more. Uh, I'm sort of averaging it out, but it's a big crew to do a, a picture like that. I mean, the. And then there's the set dressers, you know, who were instrumental in creating the carnival. It was so it's, it was such a joint effort between construction and, and set dressing. And I have an amazing um, set decorator, Shane View, who's um, he's off in Budapest right now, working on something. But he um, he's phenomenal. His team is phenomenal. So I was really felt. And for the sake of our viewers, which movie are you speaking about particularly? Nightmare Alley, there you go. Guillermo del Toro's yes, latest. Yes. And don't we wish he was here? What an imagination. Did yeah. he come in and look at your stuff? And All the time. Well, it's it? very. He's very collaborative. He's a gentleman. Uh, we don't talk a lot. Sometimes it's just looking at stuff together. Literally, you know, people say, what's, what's it like to work, work with Guillermo? And, um, you know... I just share visuals with him. I'll find some stuff. He'll find some stuff. He'll, he'll turn around. Like one day he said, we have to do the entrance of the carnival as a nod to Hitchcock's Strangers oh. on a Train. Oh. And we did that. We did a kind of riff on that. And I was like, well, seriously, Guillermo, it was a little bit close to shooting. So it was sort of down to the wire. But, you know, he, 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 he just he raises the bar for everybody, all his department heads and all the crew. And he's very connected to all of us. And then he helps you get up to that oh, bar, nice. that high wow. bar. Wow. Um, and you know, he looks at paintings and he looks at history, and not just art history and not just film history, but the history of mankind and womankind. You know, he's very, he's very knowledgeable. So he brings a lot of that to the table. Yeah. You know, we had him here uh, two or three years, three years ago. Yes, he mentioned that today. <laughs> I told yeah. him I was coming. And we had a delightful interview with him because he also says he accesses his dreams. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, his films are his dreams yeah, in yeah, many ways. Are. The Fun House, for example, was very much delving into Guillermo's head. The, the Spider Woman that we did in the carnival was um, created out of a memory he had as a child when he was six. He oh. said, I saw the Spider Woman in, the, in a carnival and uh, just never got it out of his head. So we researched it and replicated this, you know, stall that he saw at some carnival when he was oh. a little boy. So. Wow, how much fun. Yeah. Uh, I think your specialty is period pieces, right? Yeah, I mean, I've also worked on Star Trek, so I well, could go nice. either way, but I do I do love the period stuff more. You know, I it was really fascinating doing Star Trek, and I was, like, the first female designer to, to design the Enterprise because okay. we did that. Okay, high so. five. Did you see that? Did you see the high five? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it. High five. Right? High five. All right. Wait, I can't do it anymore. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, and and then you know, Guillermo called me into a trailer one day and said, "Listen, I I want you to come and work with me now. Enough of your Star Trek." And I, oh. and I was like, "I love Star Trek, but yeah, I really do love doing the period stuff and working with Guillermo." And yeah. Well, really congratulations special. on your win. Thank and, you. Um, the one coming up, maybe, huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that yet. No, not quite. Nope. Can't jinx it. Nope. Nope. I mean, I just finished another uh, thing with Guillermo and Miles Dale that Guillermo did a curated series of eight, an anthology series for Netflix called Cabinet of Curiosities. It's a series of eight uh, wow. mini, I call them mini movies, Ooh. all different periods. I was Ooh. thrilled at the idea of it at the beginning and then now, now I'm exhausted so I'm glad not to have to do that but it was really it was really interesting and fun and oh, you yeah. know yeah. yeah well thanks for stopping by this weekend all right thank you yeah.